What's going on guys? So in today's video, you are going to learn how to create this analog clock from scratch using HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. This is going to be a, a easy to follow and a fun project. Let's get started. Alright, starting really from scratch, you have this folder with this picture in it. There is a link for you down below the video description so you can download this picture, okay? Let's have our VS Code open and open our folder. In there, let's create our structure. Let's create our index.html, our style, our style.css for styling, and for behavior, let's create our app.js. It's gonna be our JavaScript file. Let's close this for now. And here let's create our boilerplate. All right, we have our boilerplate done. So in the title, let's say analog clock. Of course, you need this link that's gonna connect our HTML to our CSS style. And here, we will create a clock phase with hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay. This is the first div. Let's have another div in it with class HR and ID HR. Let's duplicate this one for the minutes. Let's change here for minutes. M I M M N. All right. And now let's move to the seconds, okay? Let's just duplicate this one, okay? And this one, sec, and class SC, and ID SC. It's almost done. Let's try to open this here, side by side, so you, you can code on the right, and you'll see the results in real time in the left. That's an amazing way to learn, okay? As you can see, there is nothing in here yet. So let's go to the last part of our, our HTML structure. Let's point to our external JavaScript file, our app.js. Okay, our, our HTML is done. All right, let's jump into our CSS. Let's start with our CSS reset to reduce browser inconsistency and things like default margin padding, okay? So margin padding zero, box size and body box. Jumping to the body, let's have display layout flex, which is five content center, align items, also center, and mean height 128 for a full screen, okay? Let's pick a background color, let's say a linear gradient, to right, let's pick this color, it's gonna go from this color to this one. Alright, as you can see, we have already our linear gradient on the left. Now let's move to the clock. Let's give it a size with 250 pixels and height also 350 pixels. For layout, let's pick the flex, okay? Justify content is gonna be center, align items also center, and now let's move to our background, okay? In here, let's pick a color, put in the front, and also the our pick, okay? Our the picture of our clock. Background size is going to be cover, as you can see. You can see the full picture, but the rate 50% make it round. Now let's give it some border, okay? Border 20 pixels, solid, and let's also pick the white color. And here let's have a box shadow in here we're gonna use a uh, inner or inset shadows okay 
and here it's going to be RGB 0.0.1 0 20 20 pixels RGB 0 0 0 0.2 All right, as you can see, you have a red. We have this nice effect, the inner shadows. Now let's move to the pseudo class, okay? Content, nothing. Position here is gonna be absolute. Let's give it a width of 15 pixels. And the height of also 15 pixels. Let's pick a background color. Let's use this 84, 84, 84. Let's give a border of 2 pixels, solid and the white color. Let's give it a border radius. And as you can see, we have this point on the middle. All right, continue. Let's deal with Position and size, okay? For our minute and second, let's use absolute, okay? Now let's go to sizing. Let's size in our divs. The first one, our HR. Let's give a width of 16 pixels and height of 106 pixels, okay? Now moving to the next one, the minutes. Let's pick this one, dot mim, and mn. Let's give a width of 19 pixels, and the height also 19 pixels. Now let's go to the last one. Let's go to the seconds, okay, dot sec, and also sc. Let's give it a size of 230, it's a little bigger is the second hand okay and the height to 30 pixels now let's let's pick hr mn and also sc and sc okay for layout let's use display display flex just like content is going to be center position absolute and to make it round, let's use body radio 50%. Body radius 50%. All right, now let's go to a fun part of our project, okay? We're gonna create uh, our clock hands, okay? The first one for the hour, each hour and pseudo class before contains nothing. The position of our hands is gonna be absolute. Let's give a width of 8 pixels and a height of 80 pixels, okay? Let's also pick a color for the background 84844. As you can see, we have our, our handle red, Z index 10. But now let's make it a little round, okay? With border radius 6 pixels, 6 pixels, 0, 0. Oh yeah, it starts to look nice. Let's move to the second one. Now the minutes hand. Let's have our pseudo class before. Content here the same is gonna be nothing. For position again it's gonna be absolute. The size here is different, of course. It's gonna be four pixels, and the height is gonna be nine pixels. It's a little taller. Let's pick another another color, a different one. Let's pick this D6, 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 okay? Z index is going to be 11. It's going to be on the top of the, our hand. And let's also give the body radius, the same one. Let's copy the last one. This one is going to be for the seconds. Uh, pseudo class before. 
here is pretty much the same compared to nothing position again is going to be absolute with two pixels it's very tiny height is going to be 150 pixels for the background just choose a red color ff6 ff6767 z index can be 12 is going to be on the top of the two that we just created and the button radius here is going to be the same six pixels six pixels and zero zero oh yeah as you can see we have the clock here but but for it to really works we need some javascript so let's move to our app.js and declare our variables first of all let's declare our DAG this is gonna be a six now let's use our IDs for hours minutes and seconds with the selector this one let's grab the HR for hours let's copy this one and let's paste two times this one is gonna be for minutes let's grab the minutes here and the third one SC and let's grab our seconds let's create a function okay and here let's use the date object so you can get the current time now let's get the hours from for it okay and multiply it for 30 why because the 12 full hours times 30 is equals 66 degrees okay the full rotation now let's get the mirrors and multiply it for the degree that's six again the same reason as you can see 60 mirrors plus six equals 66 degrees okay the full rotation now let's move to the last one let's change this one for seconds they dot get seconds and multiply it again for six because six times six three six degrees okay all right we have all the time values and degrees so now let's move the hand of our clock based on it okay let's use style transform property and rotate our element okay let's rotate z let's interpolate here hh for our plus minutes divide by 12 and degrees now let's copy this one and let's use this one for the minutes here let's delete this one and keep just the minutes and the degrees the last one let's go to the seconds okay let's change here minutes for seconds oh yeah javascript has done its magic a watch is fully functional If you watch this far, I'm sure you like this channel, so hit that subscribe button.